All right, we're about, I don't know, a little better than halfway done with this stupid light bar. There is the side after it was cleaned, but not buffed or polished. This is buffed and polished. It's not perfect. And if I really wanted it to be nice, I would wet sand it down with 2,000 or 1,500 grit and then buff it with that little buffer and that buffing compound. But it's got enough, I don't know if you can see them, the little micro cracks inside the plastic that you're never going to buff them out. So, and it's got scratches and a few cracks here and there. I'm hitting it with the old glue gun wherever I see a crack just to keep it from getting any worse. But, uh, that's the difference you can make with a little bit of buffing compound and some time. So, there's after. And that's before. And that was just scrubbed down with uh, Ajax scouring powder and hot soapy water. Uh, not, uh, not really a big severe scrubbing. Just uh, cleaned the crud off of it and... Uh, you don't want to buff the dirt into it, so get all the dirt off and clean the inside of it out. And uh, took the rotators out, put strobe heads in it. I used to have these little electric motor and little drives. There's the part for the chain drive that turned these rotators around and around, had bulbs attached to them. It's antique technology. And they were pretty reliable until the bushings and stuff got wore out. And the little worm gear in there was plastic and it would get clearance in it and eat itself. But uh, I'd take them out and 